for April 1st. So we're going to create an incredible masterpiece painting. April Fools, I thought I'd do a little something silly. Um, unless you want to make a beautiful masterpiece painting, uh, you can do whatever you want. But the actual theme that I had picked out um, was making cards. And so there's all sorts of different cards. I'm going to put examples on the next slides. And then after I go through all the slides, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the slides, explain all the different kind of ways that you can make cards for your art craft today. And then um, after I'm done going through all the slides, uh, we can turn off the recording. And then that way we can all like talk with each other and show everybody what we've all made. And it'll be a little bit easier to communicate, okay? So um, there's also a few things you should be asking while you're thinking about what kind of cards you wanna make. Uh, who are they for? Are you making cards for yourself? I think I'm gonna make some cards for myself. Uh, do you wanna make cards for your family, for your friends? Um, what do you want them to look like? How big do you want your cards to be? Um, oh, let me put this over here so I can see the chat. Cool. Um, and then they can be whatever you want them to look like, however big you want them to be. They can be flat cards, folded cards, whatever. So let's see some examples of different styles of cards you can make. Whoopsie. Okay, so example one. So these are just little reminder cards. And so um, you can make these cards uh, look with positive messages or reminders or, you know, just like things that can help remind you to feel good or remind you to do things. So like these examples that I found online, it's like the reminders where you can like pick up a card and be like, oh, today will be great. Or it's like, oh, I, I, I can do this. And just like little cards for encouragement to make you feel good or to make other people feel good. Um, and like I said, they can look however you want. You can add your favorite quotes. You can write your own. You can add whatever images you want. You can get really creative. So that's one example um, for the positive cards. Um, example two is you can make a card game. I know we're all sitting around trying to come up with stuff to keep ourselves entertained. Why not make a game out of your cards? And so you can make a bunch of cards that, so this example right here has like coping skills. So that's another sort of thing like the, like the positivity where it's like, if you're like feeling really anxious, it's somebody had created a game like this where they can pick up a card and they can, you know, talk about like how it feels like when you're stressed or whatever. Whoopsie. Um, and then this one is just someone drew a bunch of animals and, you know, you, this could be any sort of game. You could like make two that match and like put them out and next to each other. Or it's like, if you draw an animal, you have to act like the animal or come up with something. Um, that's something where you can really let your creativity shine. And it might just be like a nice activity for you to do when you're like sitting around tomorrow, like, oh, what am I going to do? And you just like, you know, play a little game that you made. Um, and you can make a, a single person game, you can make it a multiplayer game, any sort of thing, make up your own rules. So that's another example of a type of game, you, uh, a type of cards you could make. And then the third example is just like greeting cards. Um, I'm sure we've all seen greeting cards, like birthday cards. They don't have to be just birth, you know, birthday cards. I think that's when most people send cards, but you can make a card for maybe somebody who you haven't seen in a while because, you know, you're staying home and they're staying home and you haven't been able to see them in a bit. So you can make them a card that says you're thinking about them or that you miss them or like, you know, you're thinking about them or that you just want to say hello. And um, you can send them for a bunch of different reasons. You can do all sorts of creativity with that as well. Um, and there's all sorts of different materials that you can use to make cards. So like these are just some pictures of some examples, right? But it's, you know, I don't have any of these materials out, I don't think. I have a pen, um, but you can do like pens and markers or like paints if you're really nice, if you like to paint or watercolor. Um, or you can even like cut out pieces of paper, you could do collages, you could do all sorts of stuff. Um, and so there's really just like a lot. Does anybody have any other ideas? If I can pull up my chat somehow oh that's not how i pull up the chat is it um sorry i'm trying to figure all this out the chat up here Hello. Um, do i see the chat there it is 
gift uh, grid cards. What are, or is that like gift cards or grid cards? I don't know what a grid card is. It is something that somebody has suggested that you could make. But there's all sorts of different things that you can do. Um, I know I really breezed through this explanation. Um, but yeah, like, like I said, and if you're like looking for some examples, you can always go just to Google, good old Google, and find just some nice like handmade cards. And like, look at the, all the different examples. Like somebody made one with like buttons where they made the buttons look like balloons. If I can make that really big. Um, wow, so exciting. Um, yeah, so there's all sorts of different things that you can do um, with the theme of cards. What kind of, uh, so let me show you all some materials that I brought. Um, is my video still on? I think it is. Yes, okay, so my video is still on. Hello, my face was creeping down. So the things that I brought is I have some pieces of paper that I ripped up. They were a little bit bigger, but I ripped up. I've got a, a few of these. Um, I could make them, you know, flat like this, or you could fold them. Um, if you're, you know, I, I ripped these. You can cut them if you've got scissors. Um, so I've got those, I've got some colored pencils, some markers, um, some like lovely little colorful pens and all of these kind of things are just like stuff that you might have laying around. Um, I found a ruler for like if I want to do any straight lines or like any sort of straight edge you could use like the edge of another piece of paper to make some straight lines. You can um, if you have scissors you can like cut stuff out and like glue them and tape them onto other things. So Amethyst, this is Holly. Um, it looks like G Money is explaining what grid cards are. So he's saying oh, perfect. they're little cards with drawings and you pick a square on the grid and you have to try and get whatever drawing is on it, like a banana or an apple, like a grid with drawings. Oh. Um, G Money, let me that ask you, really is fun. That kind of like the pixelated, are you thinking of the pixelated art? Amber, if you could Google uh, pixel art, I think that that might be similar to what G Money is talking about. Oh yeah, so let me let me see if I can get out of here. Um, or G oh. Money, if you want to put a link in from your computer with an example, you can also put a link in. It's like a game, actually. Maybe we could Google so do it. the good part. Hold on, my internet is trying to do. It's being a little slow. Let me make this a little smaller. Hello. Like something like this, where you would like draw like you know the unicorn looks a little hard, but maybe like the watermelon. Let me let me search grid cards and see what that comes up with. Yeah, while well, you search grid cards, um, that pixel art. I do want to say pixel art is really fun. And you can look up pixel art as you're making mm -hmm. your cards and use things like ripped up pieces of paper. We use bottle caps to do pixel art with Homewood Science Center. So that's really fun. Um, so pixel art is a fun way that you can do your cards too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you have your, if you have like a ruler or something, then you can like use your ruler to draw the, the like a little grid and then fill in um, whatever you want there. I am seeing like mentions of what grid cards are, but not like how they work. Um, so what kind of cards does everybody thing. think they'll make today? Do you want to type in the no, There's like a brand of playing cards that are called grid that are the cards. cards. So you, if you don't have those, you can make them yourself then. Yeah, you can, um, yeah, like if you have a favorite card game, like if you like to play like apples to apples or something, but you don't have apples to apples at home, you can come up with your own apples to apples cards and you can put whatever you want on there, you know, because like apples to apples, they have all these nouns that are like, um, you know, all these different people and like famous people and like, uh, like famous type of objects but since you're making them for you 
you can make them really specific. Like you can make like yourself be one of the cards. You can make like your, your parents or your pet or something and make them really, really specific and funny um, and, and make a really personalized game that celebrities' names on it instead of like, oh, I can put my mom down as a card. Like that would be pretty fun. Um, so yeah, you can come up with card games that already exist. You can come up with greeting cards that like maybe have never been done before. You know, like you don't have to do a generic, come up with something that like, I don't know, like might be a funny thing to send a greeting card to. Um, where it's like a greeting card that's just like, I like your dog. And then it's just like, it open it up and you're like, you have a good dog or something. I don't know, but you can do all sorts of creative stuff. Um, I think what I'm going to do with my cards is going to be closer to the positivity cards, but instead of this, it's going to be more like reminders. So it's like, I've had, I've been having a hard time keeping a schedule and like finding things to do with my time while I've been like working from home and trying to do all my, you know, all of my stuff that I have to do while I'm at home. So I'm going to have cards. I might make one. I think one of them might just say like, get some fresh air. And so like, if I don't know what to do, I can like grab a card. I'll be like, oh, I can get some fresh air. Like, oh, I can make something, you know, make something nice to eat. Like, oh, I can. And then just like pull that out as like an activity as something to do. Do what the chat is. It. Yeah, like the positivity um, cards. So that, that, that's what I think I'm going to do. Um, oh, so from this explanation of the grid cards, they're little cards and they have drawings on them and you pick a square on the grid and then you look at the square and you have to try to guess what the picture is supposed to be. Is that sort of like pixel art meets battleship almost? Or like meets clue where you have to like guess something and then you only, you get like a little hint and then you have to try to guess what the big thing is. How do we start on the positivity cards? That's a great idea. So when you're making um, your art um, with the background first. Um, so if you want to make something that looks like this, I would go ahead and do the background first. Now it looks like this person used watercolors, um, but you could use crayons or colored pencils or literally anything you want for this. Um, and so if you're doing something like watercolors, you might want to do like pick out a background first and then get like a nice like thick pen or a thick marker and then draw or write your quote over that. Um, or if you want to do a picture in, instead of, you know, a background, you can draw the pictures in. Um, and so you can do all sorts of stuff. But yeah, that's a good question is, is the order to do things. Um, in this card, I would recommend maybe using like a pencil first and drawing out your picture before you color it in with the markers or something that's more permanent just to make sure that you have plenty of room to put in your drawing that you like as well as your words that you like, just so that you know there's plenty of room um, for the playing cards, something like this, where it looks kind of like an Uno deck or a playing card deck. I would also draw out the shape. Maybe if you're like making it look like playing cards with like, you know, I think this person would probably, you know, get their cards and they drew like, okay, this is how big the border is. Maybe you can trace something over it. And like, this is how big the spot with the numbers is gonna be. And then you have to make your words fit. Um, but if you're using like a pen or markers or something, I would recommend getting just like a regular number two pencil or just a pencil with, with an eraser and uh, lightly drawing stuff out if you wanna do a couple of different things, just to make sure you've got plenty of room on your cards, okay? Um, let me see if I can get the chat back. My mouse doesn't always wanna pull up. Oh, you have to find the thing on the card and it'll show you at the end. Hmm. All right, so um, does everyone feel like uh, we've got a, 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 a pretty good explanation? Do we wanna go ahead and get started and, and uh, finish the recording and then get back to the, you know, get back to doing like video and everything? Is everyone good with that? If we go back to, to a live chat and turn off the video? All right, so let me.